One, two, three. These boots have counted. Point one, we are talking about exponential and logistic functions. We will get through exponential today. Logistic functions will be tomorrow in class. All right? Are you recording? Yes. I'm recording. Oh God, that's yeah, so rude. Yeah, that was a dumb question. Rude, don't say that. Now, the functions f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 2 to the x each involve a base ratio of power, but the roles are reversed. So for f of x equals x squared, which what is the base? Is the base x or is the base 2? The base is x. And the exponent is 2. f is a familiar monomial and a power function. Now, for g of x equals 2 to the x, the base would be 2, and the exponent is x. g of x would be an exponential function. Okay. Every time that you have an exponent that is a variable, it will be an exponential function. Okay. Now, here's the definition for exponential functions. An exponential function in x is a function that can be written in the form f of x equals a times b to the x. Where a is, is non-zero, b is positive, and b cannot equal 1. The constant a would be considered the initial value of f, and that is going to be the value at x is equal to 0, b would be the base. Okay. In example 1, we're going to be asked to identify exponential functions, tell me if they are, not, if they are an exponential function or not. Now, they are defined and continuous for all real numbers. It's important to recognize whether a function is or is not an exponential function. Now, in example one, this will show up in your homework too. Which of the following are exponential functions? For those that are, state the initial value in the base. For those that are not, explain why not. Okay? Well, how about A, f of x equals 3 to the x? Would that be an exponential function? Yes, it would. It would be an exponential function because we have a variable as an exponent. What is the initial value? The initial value happens when x is equal to 0. Okay, the initial value happens when x is equal to 0. So if I have 3 to the 0 power, what is anything to the 0 power? 0, 1, Anything to the zero power is one. <laughs> what is the base? The base of this function would be three. Okay? Remember, anything to the zero power is one. <laughs> Not always, as you see in letter C. It won't always be one. Okay? Now, how about B? Is B an exponential function? No, sir. No. Okay. So it's not an exponential function. Okay, and again, FCN is an abbreviation for function. Okay. It is not an exponential function. Why is it not an exponential function? Okay, because what don't we have as a exponent? Okay, it needs to have negative four as exponent, not a variable. Okay. Now, if you look at C h of x equals negative 2 times 1.5 to the x. Is this an exponential function? Yes, it is. Okay, it is an exponential function. The initial value, again, happens when x is 0. So 1.5 to the 0 power would be 1, but it's really going to be negative 2 times 1, so my initial value is negative 2. My base would be what? Base would be 1.5. Okay. Now, if you look at D, if you look at D, 
we have k of x equals 7 times 2 to the negative x power. Well, really what we can do here, we can take k of x equals 7 times 2 to the negative first to the x power, right? Does that mean the same thing? Okay, that's equal, correct? Now, 2 to the negative first power is really 1 half. Because remember, when you have something to the negative power on top, you move it to the bottom, you get the positive. So, is this an exponential function? Yes. So it is an exponential function. My initial value would be, what's the initial value? 7. And my base would be 1 half. Good on that? What about e? 5 times 6 to the pi power. 5 times 6 to the pi. See a lot of shaking heads. Is this an exponential function? Yes. 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 Ross, what do you think? What's not a variable? Pi is not a variable, is it? What's pi? Pi is equal to 3.14159, whatever, yada, yada, yada. This is not an exponential function. It is a constant function. And its function. Oh. Okay. Wow. It's an abbreviation for function. Okay. What about f? <laughs> m, of, m of x equals x to the 8. Is this an exponential function? Yay or nay? Exponential function or not? Nay. It is not a function. Not exponential function, this would be a power function. Okay, you're raising a variable to a power, so that would be considered a power function. Are there any questions right this second on example one? It is important to know which one, if it's an exponential function or if it's not. Okay. Yes. B would also be a power function, yes. Okay? It'd be 6 over x to the fourth, which would be one of our power functions. So it doesn't matter what we write? No, nope. as long as you explain why it's not exponential, then you're good to go. Okay? Now, one way to evaluate an exponential function when the inputs are rational numbers is to use the properties of exponents. We shouldn't have any trouble with this. Compute the exact value of the function for the given x value without using a calculator. I know some of you are tethered to your calculator, but now let's try and not use a calculator. So, f of 4 equals 2 to the 4th power. What is 2 to the 4th power? 2 to the 4th power would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which would be 16 f of 0, which would be our initial value of this function, which would be 2 to the 0. What's 2 to the 0 power? 2 to the 0 power is? 1. 1. Very good. Now, <laughs> if we look at c, we have f of negative 3. So we want to find this. That'll be 2 to the negative third power. Can I leave it like that? Well, it'll be negative 8, right? Answer will be negative 8. It'll be 1 over 2 to the third. Which is really 1 over 8. Are there any questions on A, B, and C? Okay. Let's look at D. 
We have f of one half, right? So really, it's going to be two to the one half power. But anything to the one half power will really be what? The square root of two. So we have that there. Now you look at e. E will be a little bit different. This one's going to be a little bit more intensive for our work. Um, Find the f of negative three halves. That would really be two to the negative three halves, right? Well, two to the negative three halves. Remember, just like we did before with two to the negative three, we made it one over that. We're gonna do the same thing here. Okay. Now, just like we have the one half, we're gonna make that into a square root. One over two to the third is really what? Or sorry, two to the third is really what? Two to the third power is eight. eight. Now, can I simplify that at all? Can I simplify the square root of eight? Two times the square root of two. Now, we cannot leave it like this. We need to rationalize our denominator. Which means my final answer would be a square root of 2 over what? It's going to be over 4. Good. So square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, times 2 is 4. This will be our answer. Are there any questions on example 2 at this point? In example three, we're finding an exponential function from its table of values. Determine a formula for the exponential function, g and h, whose values are given in the table. Well, again, remember, when we have this, our normal function, f of x equals a times b to the x, which means we need to find a, which is our initial value. We need to find b, which is really our change, how much it's changing every time, correct? So, in this one here, in g of x, what's my initial value? What's the initial value in g? What's the value of the function in the table when x is equal to 0? When x is equal to 0, g is 4. This is your a value. How much is it changing each time? It's multiplying by 3. So this is b. So your function for g of x, g of x will equal 4 times 3 to the x. Now, if we check this, if you think about it, 3 to the 0 <coughs> power is what, Drew? 3 to the 0 power is 1 times 4 would be 4, right? 3 to the first power is 3 times 4 would be 12. 3 to the second power is 9 times 4 is 36. Now, if we go the other way, 3 to the negative first power would be 1 third. 1 third times 4 would be 4 thirds. 3 to the negative second power would be 1 ninth times 4 would be 4 ninths. What about h of x? What's our initial value for h of x? The initial value would be 8, so that's our a value. And that means b would be 1 4. So my equation for h of x would be what? 8 times 1 fourth to the x. Now, can I combine the 8 and the 1 fourth? No, you cannot combine the 8 and the 1 fourth because 1 fourth is being taken to the x power. The 8 is not being taken to the x power, just the 1 fourth. Okay? Now, observe the pattern in the g of x and h of x columns. The g of x values increase by a factor of 3 and h of x decrease by a factor of 1 fourth as we add 1 to x moving from one row to the next. In each case, the change factor is the base of the exponential function. This pattern generalized to all exponential functions illustrate the following table. Now, it might look a little bit better on your paper than it does here, but it's still very blurry. Okay, now... Really, all this is saying is your initial value is a. This is a times b to the negative first, negative second, all that. So your change will be your base of your 
exponential function. Okay?